Hello, Namaskar, and good afternoon. This is Professor Prem Lal Joshi. I would like to tell you about my very recently published and edited book titled Selected Readings on Big Data Analytics and Auditing. The book has been published by Northern Book Center, New Delhi. This is a this is a reference book and not a textbook. Professor Dr. Asitosh Deshmukh, a distinguished professor of accounting and chairman of accounting and MIS, Penn State University, USA, has written a foreword for this book. As we know that. Today, digitalization is reshaping the business world in terms of delivery and performance. Big data analytics have been widely applied in business fields from manufacturing to banking and supply chain management, but so far, the auditing industry has been left behind in its uses. The applications of big data in auditing are widespread, but many companies are yet to explore the power of big data to make their auditing more accurate, more reliable, and less costly. Big data offers opportunity to be used in analytical procedures. Big data analytics as emerging technologies are enabling auditors to better identify financial reporting issues, frauds, operational business risks, audit evidence, and tailor their approaches to deliver a more relevant audit. Big data and analytics allow auditors for population-based audits. Big data comprises of extremely large data sets that may be analyzed using emerging technologies to reveal patterns, trends, and relationships. Big data includes transactions plus interactions plus observations data. For example, by collecting information regarding past events, predictive and prescriptive analytics can be used to estimate the likelihood of future outcomes. What is the focus of the book? This book may provide a major comprehensive study in the usage of big data and analytics in auditing. The book materials are written in an understandable language and are intended to provide the current state of the art of big data and analytics in terms of technologies, applications, opportunities, advantages, issues, and challenges, as well as the involved techniques in the field of auditing. This book is brought out with an intention to cover the opportunities, issues, and challenges of big data and analytics in auditing. It discusses some short cases and examples, practitioners' practices, research studies, and their likely impact on the working style of auditors. This book contains seven chapters, which are very well written by experienced academicians, researchers, and practitioners. Chapter one of the book is on role of big data and analytics in auditing. This chapter has been writ written by Dr. Atimala Kanan, Dr. Kanan, Ramakrishnan, Dr. Adi Dappo Ojo from Multimedia University, Malaysia. 
This chapter discusses the role of big data and analytics in various industries to promote an understanding of their potential applications and barriers in auditing systems. While chapter 2 is on understanding risks for big data auditing, this chapter is authored by Professor Dr. M. Sarawanan Muthiya from Multimedia University, Malaysia. Professor Sara is an eminent professor. With the help of small case illustrations, this chapter discusses the understanding of the risks of big data auditing. He argues that valuable insights in terms of audit evidence and evidence gathering for improvement of auditing will depend on how data is secured and stored. Chapter 3 is on will artificial intelligence replace accountants and auditors in the future. This chapter is authored by me, that is Professor Dr. Premlal Joshi, a former professor of accounting at MMU Malaysia and University of Bahrain. This chapter discusses the usage of automation such as artificial intelligence in accounting and auditing functions and whether artificial intelligence may replace accountants and auditors in the future. Survey results of the perceptions of the accountants and auditors on skill sets needed by them in the use of emerging technologies are also discussed in this chapter. While chapter four is on impact of digitalization in audit profession and in auditing, this chapter is written by a practitioner, Joyce C. Tremucha from Philippines. She reviews the actual and potential impacts of digital innovation in the performance of audit and to the audit profession itself today and in the future. Auditors will see these technology advancements as a tool which will aid to improve the overall auditing processes and ensure that only relevant or appropriate information are gathered and analyzed. Chapter 5 is on leveraging deep learning frameworks to do auditing at scale. This chapter is authored by a data scientist, namely Balaji Sri Raj Duryasamy from Singapore. The chapter focuses on the recent developments in deep learning techniques, how deep learning frameworks can be utilized to enhance the efficiency of auditing process at scale and also the challenge faced by the auditors in utilizing those latest technologies. Chapter six is on big data, Ben Ford, Ford's law and financial analytics. This chapter is authored by Dr. Sujan Disoja from American University, Kuwait. We know that fraud examination in businesses across the world, followed by forensic accounting, has become a requirement to safeguard any business entity. The success of forensic accounting and fraud examinations depends on the quantum of evidences. This gives the inception and relevance of big data analytics needed in businesses. This is the focus of this chapter. The last chapter, that is chapter seven, is on big data and human resources auditing. This chapter is authored by 
Dr. S. Sudha from Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai, India. She discusses that in order to safeguard the data, specifically human resources data, organizations handle human resource auditing as a tool for security purposes. With appropriate big data software and approaches in human resource auditing, the data can be safeguarded and streamlined for decision making. Who are the target audience for this book? We hope that this edited book may serve broad spectrum of audience, including academics, and students, practitioners, working professionals in the field of auditing, and researchers. The book may also be of interest and value to accounting and auditing firms, standard setters, and regulators. We sincerely hope that this book will be useful for the above target audience and general readers. In bringing out this book, I have received encouragement and motivation from various quarters. One of them is Professor Govindan uh, Marthandan from Multimedia University, Malaysia. I am thankful to him. Thank you very much and stay safe.